Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Python interview questions. That is, what is PEP8 and why it is important? Let me answer. PEP8 is a coding style guide for Python programming. Okay, it's a coding style guide which contains all the best practices and other stuff for writing the code in a better way. Okay, if you are the one who is going to write the code in Python and you are not aware how to write the code in a better way with all the best practices, okay, then you can look into this guide, okay. Who is providing this guide? This guide is provided by the Python official community, guys, and it's uh, maintained by the this community and updated time to time, guys, okay. So all the programmers who are going to write the code in Python have to refer to this guide for all the best practices and better way of writing the code, okay? To find out all the best ways or better ways of writing the code, we have to look into this guide, okay? So by, by providing this guide, what the Python community is achieving? What is the importance of this guide? You see, if you, if you don't have this guide provided, okay? If this guide is not available, okay? Or not maintained by this community, then different people who are writing the code in Python will write in different ways, okay? They don't follow a particular process or they don't follow particular best practices or better ways of writing the code, okay? And uh, they claim that their own way of writing the code is a better way, okay? So instead, this Python community is providing this coding style guide for Python programmers so that they adhere to this best practice or Okay, better ways of writing the code so that everyone will, will be on the same, same spot. Okay, so by doing this, unnecessary discussions on uh, Python coding style, like you see, my code, I have whatever the code I have written is the best way or, or better way. Okay, people keep, keep on discussing that. That is not required. Okay, simply we'll compare our code with uh, the coding style guide. Okay, the things that are provided in the coding style guide to cross check whether the way that you are writing the code is a uh, best way or not, we can find it out from this guide case, okay? You don't have to discuss here and there. So that is the main advantage, okay, of this guide case, of providing this guide, so that everyone can follow this guide for finding out what are the, what, what are the real best practices or better ways for writing the code, so that the programmers write some clean, readable, and maintainable code, okay? So that clean, readable, and maintainable code can be achieved by following this guide, okay? And also guys, this guide includes a lot of stuff like uh, mm, formatting the code, okay? How the code need to be written in a particular format, okay? So where the spaces need to be given, how it need to be organized and all those stuff, okay? So that is formatting of the code is mentioned in this guide and also naming conventions, okay? So when you create some methods, like uh, what should be the naming conventions? It should be in the snake case or upper camel case or whatever the case, okay? So what kind of cases we have to follow for uh, methods, uh, variables, functions, classes, everything is mentioned in this guide. And the best practices for writing the clean, readable and maintainable, maintainable code is also mentioned in this guide, guys, so that all the programmers who are going to write the code in Python programming language can follow this guide to understand the real best practices or better ways for writing the clean, readable and maintainable code with proper format and proper naming conventions. Okay, so let me now show you the guide for you. Okay, the guide is maintained by this Python community at this link, guys. You can, I provided the link here, PEP8 guide link. Okay, so if I show you this link, you will understand clearly. Okay, let me click on the link. For example, guys, for example, I want to find out like uh, how the import statements in Python need to be written. Okay, for example, how the import statements in Python need to be written. Okay, what is the best way of writing the import statements and what is not recommended? Let's find it out, okay? Let's click on the import statements. And you see imports need to be written in Python in separate lines, okay? Imports should usually on, imports should usu, usually be on separate lines. You should not be writing multiple imports in a single line, okay? You see, this is wrong they are saying, okay? This is not the proper way of writing. So whenever you have, uh, you have to do multiple imports, do them on, in, uh, separately on multiple lines. Don't do them in a single line, okay? It's okay to say this though, you see from, uh, this one, this module, import these things, okay? This, this is fine. You can write like this, but don't, uh, it's better to write like this than this one, okay? So if you have individual import statements, you can write like this, okay? So there are situations where you have to write like this. This is correct. This is correct. They are saying this is the wrong, okay? This is wrong, they are saying. 
instead of this you have to follow this approach like that they keep on suggesting the things guys which is correct which is wrong and all if you follow this uh, guide seriously you will get to know that what is the correct way of uh, writing the code okay what are what are the correct best practices or better ways for writing the clean readable and maintainable code for everyone okay so so hope guys you got the answer for this question that is what that is what is pepi it is a coding style guide where all the best practices for writing the clean readable and maintainable code along with the formatting of the code and naming conventions are mentioned and many more things guys okay will be there in this guide and uh, by following this guide maintained by the python community you will be able to adhere to the standards and you will be able to write a proper neat clean maintainable and readable code okay that everyone follows in the python community so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another python interview question for you till then see you bye bye